Hello everyone, thanks for having me. I'm excited to talk about infra-like apps, GitOpsifying, cloud-natively managed infrastructure with Crossplane and Argo CD. This is Alo Zain, a DevOps engineer working for Tetra Pak. Prior to joining Tetra Pak, I completed three master's degrees all at once in periphery of computing and communications for sustainable development. Lately, there have been a lot of talk about deploying applications following the GitOps operating model. However, there are often gaps in doing so when it comes to infrastructure, where those applications run on top of. Until recently, infrastructure provisioning and its lifecycle management were handled in a different way than application deployment, and likely not following all four principles of GitOps. But first, what is GitOps? Well, it's a set of principles, practices, and tools to manage infrastructure and application deployment using a developer-friendly tool, Git. Basically, GitOps, in the context of Kubernetes, aims to address the challenge of how do we ensure that our Kubernetes cluster reflects the declarative configuration we have in Git, also known as the desired state. Um, this can be achieved with the help of GitOps controllers, such as Argo CD, Flux, and Rancher Fleet. The notion of GitOps controller is to have a continuously running loop that performs the following. Git clone repo, discover manifest in the cloned repo, and run kube control diff and kube control apply against those manifests to handle config drifts. There is more that GitOps can offer beyond application deployments. A GitOps approach can provide a better experience for creating consistent and repeatable environments for application teams. It's also about having a uniform way for managing both apps and infrastructure alike. As organizations are becoming more cloud-native, a new paradigm is being ushered into place and the new technologies are needed. The existing infrastructure as code tools, like the continuous reconciliation, the automatic drift detection that ensures the system's actual state matches the declarative desired state defined in Git. Let's cut to the chase and talk about Crossplane. Crossplane, a cloud native infrastructure as code tool, is a CNCF incubating project that is redefining how to manage infrastructure using the Kubernetes API via the custom resource definitions abbreviated as CRDs and controllers. With a cross plane, if at any point the actual state diverges from the desired state, it gets corrected based on a control plane reconciliation. The reasons why cross plane fits in the GitOps realm Boil down to the philosophy of crossplane, that is to manage infrastructure the same way we manage our Kubernetes workloads by leveraging a ubiquitous language, Kubernetes Objects Manifest, that is becoming lingua franca for DevOps, together with the ability to use the same API, the Kubernetes API, for everything. Besides the fact that infrastructure state is the same as Git's, where the Kubernetes Objects Manifest are stored and not to mention the automatic drift detection and sync. Crossplane introduces a few core CRDs into our management cluster, which corresponds to the following. A provider that is in charge of interacting with cloud services, and to do so, a provider config is required via an account such as service principal in, in Azure. Also, a managed resource, that is Crossplane's um, representation of a resource instance in a provider. With these three components, together with the core controller, we can create resources. However, that's not all what Crossplane can do. As is stated in the Cloud Native Infrastructure book by Justin Garrison and Chris Nova, Cloud Native Infrastructure is infrastructure that is hidden behind useful abstractions controlled by APIs managed by software. Crossplane enables assembling infrastructure from multiple 
vendors and exposes it as a higher level abstraction using composites. A composite resource is a custom resource that is composed of managed resources allowing us to abstract away low level infrastructure details. They are defined by composite resource definitions and compositions. A claim is an instance of a composite resource. Crossplane also has the concept of packages, like the previously mentioned providers packages and also configuration packages. Packages themselves can also be packaged. Now let's talk a bit about Argo CD, which is one of the fastest growing open source GitOps tools out there. The project is part of the Argo family, a set of cloud native tools for running and managing jobs and applications on Kubernetes. To start working with Argo CD, we need to install Argo CD in a Kubernetes cluster, store Kubernetes manifest in a Git repository, and create an Argo CD application by defining which repository to monitor and to which cluster this application should be deployed. The Argo CD application can be for an application, infrastructure resources, or even other Argo CD applications, which is what's known as the app of apps pattern. This is how both Crossplane and Argo CD come together. From the left-hand side, we have Helm repositories for Argo CD controller so that it manages itself and also Bitnami sealed secrets to encrypt and decrypt the secrets mainly for cross-plane providers config. Regarding the Git repository, we have Argo CD applications and cross-plane related manifests. In the middle, there is the management cluster where Argo CD and cross-plane are installed. And on the right, we have the different providers where the resources are to be created. These dev resources are composed of services provided by four cloud providers, namely AWS, Azure, GCP, and DigitalOcean, all in one view. Organizations are evolving from centralized management of infrastructure to a self-service model in which platform team defines opinionated infrastructure abstractions that um, application teams can consume on demand without compromising security with just simple Kubernetes manifest for provisioning cloud resources that require few parameters and the namespace scope. Need a new test or sandbox environment? Developers can spin that quickly for themselves with no lead time, which increases their productivity and autonomy. It's a wrap. Applying GitOps principles to infrastructure lifecycle management makes it feasible to know exactly what is the infrastructure state is, along with the other advantages it provides, such as reviewing the changes and detecting configuration drifts. A drift detection and automatic reconciliation are key to reliably manage multiple resources across cloud providers. With a cross-plane, coupled with Argo CD, becomes possible to manage infrastructure the same way cloud native applications are managed. Simply put, treating infrastructure like apps means managing its life cycle following the same GitOps principles to prevent manual fiddling that does not confirm to Git workflows. And that's about it, folks. Thank you.